So we have a little job that came in that, you know, it's a kind of a pain in the butt, complicated thing, depending on how you look at it. So it's just like a handrail for a, I think it's a printing press from Germany or something like this. And I mean, obviously it's calling out all metric stuff and this big arc and, and uh, it's kind of complex. And I mean, for a one-off piece and they, they're in a big rush for it, we're gonna try to make it as nice as we can uh, without just like cutting a bunch of square tubes and do all this. So what, I mean, what our plan is, is we're gonna use the center point from here to here and there's an offset. We're gonna water jet a template out um, that is going to help us identify the center point here and the bolt hole patterns here. Okay, and then from there, uh, that'll like we can roughly get an arc because we're not going to get that perfect. We're going to put these two elbows here and here. Uh, this will probably have to get cut back a bit, but then we'll kind of slightly bend this to fit the piece of plywood. And uh, and like I said, the whole the whole center from this hole to this one is is going to be what's critical. So we can play with that a little bit when we tack this plate on. We'll put an actual mark in that when we do the water jetting. Um, and then as far as this goes, it looks like there's a plug in here uh, with an M12 tap. We won't make it that complicated. We'll just plasma cut a disc with an M12 clearance hole, weld a nut on it and then on the inside and then drop it in there and then weld that and blend it out. So, uh, you know, something that kind of looks like a big pain in the butt, we'll try to make it as nice as we can because this is probably like a you know, million dollar machine, let's say, rather than make it all out of uh, square tubing. We could, you know, in theory, we could just put a straight piece from here to here and just kind of get get rid of that. But I mean, if, if it ends up being that this is too hard to bend or something, we'll just end up doing that. Um, we'll just get the wood template and then just cut that straight and, and we're done. So I'm going to kind of go over the process of this and um, I'll show you guys the result. Go over the next step. So we, we've imported a snippet, a JPEG essentially in a canvas. So what we've done is insert and you do a, insert a canvas and we've inserted this and you can see the drawing here. And from, we, we you can right click here and go to edit, uh, uh, calibrate. And what we've done is from this point to this point, we've chosen the longest dimension and then said uh, it was 1200 millimeters, which it was. So it, kind of, it then gave us a starting point to then uh, start referencing some geometry and sketches. So if we roll this forward, um, you can start to see how we did this. So all we did was define this plate here with a center line and then dimension this offset right here as per the drawing and then we drew a, a spline from here down the center of the pipe and you can and what then we did was because we don't have 30 millimeter pipe we actually were using um, inch and a half DOM which is like 1.6 so then we offset the, the, the center line half of that so that gave us a uh, template. We roll this forward. You can see this is a template we made. So from here, this is the center line of the pipe and that bolt. And over here, there's two little holes that uh, this lines up with the center line that we're gonna use to reference, as well as the uh, offset right here to here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna water jet this out uh, and, uh, and use this as a template to fit up, right? Now, I mean, looking a little bit further ahead, we've also drew out the two little plates that we need on the end, and uh, I'll show you after it's been water jet. Right here, you can see the water jet template, right? We can see when we put this together, here's our pipe. Uh, and now when we put our elbows, we've notched these out because uh, the elbows don't need to be, uh, we don't need to be concerned about the inner radiuses. And then right over here, um, you can see we've bent this piece of tube. So the way we bent this, we don't have a die for this. So I just put a little bit of heat uh, progressively and clamped it over two, uh, two by fours or four by fours and, uh, and then was able to, to bend that uh, to match that. So I'll show you here, um, this has the plate. So right here at the end of this line, this, this is the center line right here at the end of this line. This is the center line of these holes. So we can make sure the offset's fine and uh, this is kind of handy to help get a bend radius like that. Uh, and I'll show you once it's fit up and welded and all done. So you can see uh, this is a nice tight fit there. And then we have the center of these holes in line with uh, the end of that. 
and the offset's all good. So that's kind of a uh, complicated way to make a complicated part. But if this arc was really important, uh, I mean, it's kind of a helpful little tip.